Hello and welcome back to this game development series training videos. And in this video I'll be covering how to create a vertex class as well as a triangle class which we'll be using to render triangles on the screen. Now if you find uh, these videos helpful then please support my website by going to www.maticnose.com and clicking on the PayPal icon. To begin, we'll need to go into Solution Explorer here and create some more directories for the new code that we're going to be adding today. Um, I'm going to put, make a directory here and called, I'm going to call it math because um, I'll put all the sort of general math equations and formulas into this folder here, uh, which will also include the vertex and the triangle code. So I've done that there and I'm going to go into here and create that same math directory. Okay. Now, again, if you've been following along with these videos, I'm sure you've seen this before, where I go and I create new um, blank files into the program. So the first one I'm going to create is called vertex, and it's going to be a .cpp file. And again, I'll put it in the math. And I'll also create a .h file for the vertex as well. And the other thing we're going to go and create is the triangle class, which will sit in the triangle.cpp, uh, also in the math. And the triangle here for the .h file. And just quickly move these over. And again, we have to go into the project settings for the game engine and set up the path so that our compiler will be able to find the code that's associated with the triangle and the vertex. So we'll just go in here and add a new one here, math. Okay, so that's all set up now. So let's start with the vertex. A vertex in 3D space is represented by three coordinates, um, an X, a Y, and a Z. So as you can see here, what I've done is I just create a very simple class which has a regular constructor as well as an overloaded constructor that takes three values and a virtual destructor. And all it has is three members, which are public, uh, x, y, and z values. Now, you can go and start adding in extra functions here to, for instance, set or get uh, the x, y, z values if you like, but I just try to leave it at the bare minimum. So it just wraps up three, ver three floating point variables here. And let's go into the vertex.cpp and let's take a look at those three functions. Now, as you've seen many times before, again, the very top, we include our standard um, precompiled header file here, uh, as well as the vertex.h, our standard constructor. Um, all it's going to do is it's going to set the x, y, z values equal to zero. Um, now, one thing here I noticed, uh, the X, Y, Z are floating point numbers, so I'm just going to change this slightly and make sure that I define them as floating point numbers. The other constructor um, takes in three values, a value for X, Y, and Z, so we just pass those values into the member variables for X, Y, and Z. Again, you could do some extra error checking in here if you like to um, to make sure that the x, y, and z values are valid before you actually set them in the class. But I just went ahead and just passed everything in directly into the class. The last is the destructor, and it doesn't do anything, uh, so I just leave it blank like so. Okay, so now we can go on to the triangle class. Let's take a look at the triangle.h. Um, we see here that the triangle.h will include vertex.h because the triangle is comprised of three vertices. So the class itself will have a constructor that takes in 
three vertices values, as you see here, and a, f a floating point value for an angle. Now, the way that this angle works is it represents which way the uh, triangle is oriented. It has a destructor and it has an update, uh, which takes some uh, angle value here as well. Um, the members for the triangle class are the three vertices values. There's vertex 1, vertex 2, and vertex 3, and there's the floating point number for the angle as well. Okay, so now let's take a look at the code for the triangle. Okay, the constructor, again, takes in our three values for the vertices and the angle, and you can see here all we're doing is we're equating the three vertex values that were being passed in into our member variable vertex values, and the same thing goes for the angle. And again, you could do some extra error checking in here, but I just didn't bother, so I do it. I just pass everything directly into the class. The next here is the destructor, and again, it doesn't do anything since we didn't allocate any memory. And the last thing is this update class, or uh, update function. Uh, and as you see here, what we do on an update is we take some uh, angle value and we increment the current value that's already stored in our class by whatever was passed into us. So this is equal to, um, this basically allows us to rotate our triangle by a certain value here that's passed into us. And so that that's basically it. Um, nothing too special here with the vertex and triangle classes. Um, this is a little short tutorial, but um, come back again for the next one where we'll actually implement um, the triangle into our code so that we can actually render triangles onto the screen.